your love. Vacation to Thailand starts from 19,999 only. GT Holidays. When I come to Chennai, last year when I was with SRH, I got my debut cap again. It was against CSK, so that was again an emotional moment for me. I literally had. Like goosebumps because you're going to play against Mahendra Singh Dhoni and all your childhood you have watched him play and do such wonders for the country. A big credit goes to Dan Lara sir because Mr. Dan Lara loves my batting. So I think somewhere I'm doing good. I don't need to change things on my batting. I keep on telling me that the way you have supported me. There was so much of hype in media like uh, stating that you were misrepresented or there was some wrong identification which was done during the mini auction. Play my game freely because I knew that Johnny is well settled. I have to just make sure that I match the run rate. I don't have to be too smart and like over smart and do anything uh, filmy there. Johnny was telling me like one over I got what uh, three four runs only I got to Sunil Narayan. He came and told me you played him really well. Next over you are hitting big sixes I know. How different was Rashid Khan comparing with other spinners? There's so much of hype about Rashid Khan. So, do you see any difference between other spinners and Rashid? That day, I understood why he's the world-class bowler because the first time I remember when we met, uh, she was like, uh, "Shashank, come here and uh, give me a hug. You are a star for me." So, and I have not done before that. I have not done anything. It's just that she wanted me to be comfortable. IBC Tamil Sports ki nerikal ko vanakkam. Idu vandu or pudhu edition inga dug out appdinte. So inga vandu one on one with players vandu nam entry panninirukom. So inikku special guest yara pathina or superstar Punjab Kings oda team player Shashank Singh. Mr Shashank Singh vandu nam kuda irukkar. So welcome Mr Shashank Singh. Vanakkam Chennai. Superb fantastic. It's a big time. Now it's going on IPL is going on. You kicked off your IPL stint with uh, Delhi Daredevils in 2017. Then from 2019 to 2021 you played for Rajasthan Royals, yeah. and in 2022 you played for Sunrisers Hyderabad. Right. So how was that experience? Initially you start with Delhi Daredevils and then Rajasthan, then SRH. The experience was really good to be honest. Like uh, uh, I couldn't play in the first three years of my IPL where I played for Delhi and Rajasthan, but I got a I got a hell lot of experience. You won't believe like Rahul Dravid sir sitting next to you. You can talk cricket endlessly all day, all night. So I am someone who who likes to ask questions, who likes to interact. So I kept on asking Rahul sir about the red ball circuit, about the white ball circuit, about how he feels about the game, about his experience in cricket. So that was one good thing. Like Rahul Dravid sir was there, then Zaheer Khan was there. So obviously he was the captain. So I kept on asking him about how he feels about myself and what I can improve. And that was the first year of mine in the IPL. So it went like more of awestruck moment because you are you are sharing the dressing room with your stars. So it was really good for me. Next year, next year, next year, when I was with Rajasthan Royals, it was more about uh, how to get in the eleven because obviously you gradually want to get it because the first year obviously it was more about the IPL, the the hub, the hype about the IPL. The, the second year of mine was more into how to get in the eleven and how to uh, improve my skill set even more, how to work on my mental ability as well. So the, f- the two years in Rajasthan again, I couldn't get a game there because again the middle order was packed. Uh, ben Stokes was there, Riyan Parag was there. Joss Butler was batting in the middle order. Sanju Samson was there, so everyone was doing well. Also, like as a team, we couldn't do that well. But then again, individually, the players were doing well at times here and there. So again, Zubin Baruch Asar was there. He was the director that time, and he really helped me with the batting because there were times when the team was playing the match, and he used to come with me uh, at the Swai Man Singh Stadium, the second ground, and we used to bat for hours and hours. So I'm really thankful to him as well because the way Zubin sir really helped me out with cricket. Like you see, Zubin sir is working with Yashashvi, Dhruv Jorel, Riyan, Sanju. So he has that thing in himself. So that was again a good point. Like where the support staff, the coaching staff really helped me in building me as a more mature cricketer. And then last last year when I was with SRH, I I got my debut cap again. It was against CSK. So that was again an emotional moment for me when I was going in the bus for the match. I literally had. Like with goosebumps because you are going to play against you are going to play against Mahendra Singh Dhoni and you know like all all your childhood you have watched him play and do such wonders for the country. So again that was an emotional moment when I played against CSK. But uh, yeah that that year went that year was average for me in the IPL. Like I played few good knocks. I was I could have played better knocks as well. But then again it was a good learning experience because when you play on 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 the ground 
it gives you a different feel altogether so playing in such a big crowd was different for me and then i met mr brian lara there so he was the batting coach there and tell, trust me he really helped me to a different level altogether mentally skill wise obviously when you are playing ipl you if you are a part of ipl for 3 4 years then skill wise obviously you don't have to work too 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 hard there are only small things small adjustments you have to do but the mental setup where he worked on me like there were times where when me and brian sir used to go for coffee or we were playing table tennis and we used to discuss cricket he used to discuss about my batting and he is someone who was impressed with me so that was a big thing for me you can say an achievement for me if brian lara is is your fan he used to tell me that i am your batting fan so that was a big thing for me that mr brian lara loves my batting so i think somewhere i'm doing good so i don't need to have to, i don't need to change things on my batting and plus the mental setup as well because he told me that you are someone who can bat at any number from 1 to 7 and change the game so all those uh, things gave me a lot of lot of confidence and i think like today also when i like whatever i have did this year for punjab a big credit goes to brand lara sir because uh, right now also when we text or we chat or maybe we have a phone conversation i keep on telling me that the way you have supported me i think no one could have ever supported me and thank you so much for that i am indebted on that thing so all thanks to lara sir over this so it's uh, great to hear from you about uh, sir brain charles lara's uh, experience and the way you shared with him a lot of stuff and the way he has motivated you it's a dream for a lot of young cricketers and also for people like me who whose career got interrupted in between you know we all dreamt about it we watched him scoring 400 runs so your blessed one i would say all right so coming back to the point of uh, uh, this season ipl you played against uh, gujarat titans 61 runs in 29 balls in uh, ahmedabad so which is not your home ground obviously as far as pbks is concerned so you became a superstar to a lot of people of course you you have been working very hard a lot of people who have been following in domestic cricket knows about your uh, your skills and your talent etc but now since a lot of people youngsters you know who are watching for the first time they got quite excited and to be very honest you know ever since that you became a most uh, viewed cricketer as far as in chennai is concerned so could you please share about that how the situation as far as match was and what was the scenario when you went what was your role so uh, <clears throat> before the ipl i got a role to finish the games so obviously uh, the way shikhar dhawan bhai told me that do visualize that you're finishing the games for the team the director and the coach everyone told me about my role so i was very clear about the role uh, the first match didn't well uh, good for me i got out on the first ball on a duck so i was pretty frustrated about, about the game that i couldn't score the runs but then obviously the team management the players everyone the support staff even the owners they really backed me so i was uh, i was just feeling the other day in the room that okay just focus on the process and rest i'll keep everything aside and I'll focus on the process so the other game uh, when i went to bat against rcb i scored what nine balls 22 or done some some runs and there i got a lot of confidence that okay now i'm middling the ball well my show, my head is proper i'm more balanced so then the when the when this match came the gujarat match came i usually bat at 7 but the, the, that game uh, the coach summoned me to bat at 6 so i thought that it's a good opportunity for me to spend some time on the wicket and then again from there i can take it on and then i can finish the game obviously we were 70 for 4 and chasing 200 or 199 or 200 runs so the target was there but then again as a professional you have to think that you 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 don't have to think that way that any negative point you always think positive right that okay whatever situation is you're going to chase the total so when i went to bat i just thought i'll watch the ball and react to it so uh, like obviously rashid khan was bowling noor was bowling and they were bowling well so i just thought i'll take some time i'll watch the bounce i'll watch how the wicket is going and then i'll try to play my shots so yeah then again i just i was just reacting to the ball i was and one thing i told myself that don't try anything fancy which you have not done in the past so i made sure i'll do things which i have done in the past and not think not try anything new so that is what i did i just try to play all cricketing shots what i do and luckily by god's grace that thing went well and uh, we finished on the winning side and again ashutosh the way he played that cameo of 30 odd runs was again terrific so this is this was a team effort full team effort like prab gave a good start ashu came jitesh had two sixes to uh, rashid and then obviously i finished the game so felt very good that i could able to finish the game and stay till the end not out so that was a good thing for me so pbks was chasing 199 runs against gujarat and uh, it was in ahmedabad which is very difficult to chase as well so 
kudos to you so um how different was rashid khan comparing with other spinners there's so much of hype about rashid khan so do you see any difference between other spinners and rashid obviously he's a world class spinner there's no question that he's not a world class he's a world class spinner very accurate the way he bowls the way he reads the batsman the way he uses his googly and the leg spin the, the his trajectory like you talk about the technical part you talk about the mental part he's like he's there up there in the world cricket so obviously he's different and obviously someone like me playing him for the first time because that was the first time i played him so for me it, he was a bit more difficult because i've never faced a bowler like him before that is why i took four five balls just to see his action because he has a different action altogether so just to see his action just to read his googlies that is why i spent some extra time so i was lucky i would say i was lucky that i got to bat at 6 that game because if i would have batted 7 i wouldn't have that much time so i had that much time to see a bowler and then at least then i just to what shots i can play to him so yeah but he was different and i know i'm like that day i understood why he's the world class bowler because he's different altogether since you said that uh, team owner was also supportive and was encouraging yeah. so everyone knows that preeti zinta is owner so so yeah how was the experience with preeti zinta as a owner of the team was she encouraging or it, was she really angry when you guys lose was there anything as such so she is someone who is very very passionate about the sports very like extremely like the way i am passionate about cricket because it's my profession as well she is very passionate about the sports like the first time i remember when we met uh, uh, at a team dinner she was like uh, shashank come here and uh, give me a hug you are a star for me so and i have not done before that i have not done anything it's just that she wanted me to be comfortable and i was like keep like preeti zinta you have always seen her movies on tv or you have never seen her so i've i've seen her for the first time and someone of preeti zinta ma'am's haters coming and telling you that you are a superstar and you will do well i know this ipl i have heard about your success and she knew that uh, whatever performance i did for srh she knew about those performances she was telling me remember that match against gujarat you scored for srh and all that thing so she knew everything about me so that again was a big thing for me that preeti zinta ma'am knows about me so yeah and then again whatever innings i played in front of her and after the like whatever uh, social gatherings we had uh, as a as a team she is like very passionate she used she likes to talk a lot about the sports about the movies because obviously i am someone who likes to talk about the movies about her like what new movies coming and uh, about her profession so it's good that i know someone like preeti zinta because i am very lucky that i know people now who are like who for some are just are in dreams only they cannot even think of them and there was a time where even i felt that the, this is a dream for me so i'm happy that i'm living my dream and i just want to keep living this dream forever so there's something new which i came to know that even preeti zinta is also a cricket performance analyst yeah oh, yeah that's me she <laughs> wonderful is. wonderful so coming to another match you know yeah in the season 2024 ipl you guys played against uh, kkr at eden gardens kolkata So you scored 68 runs in uh, 28 balls, yeah. where you were chasing 261 runs, which is a mammoth score, you know, record score. By the way, you chased it and you also uh, got right now you're uh, leading with the record. So how was that chase all about? What was the scenario? Because when you look into the situation, of course there were a lot of contributions from top order as well. But when it's coming to you, what was the scenario for you uh, to make, whether to stand there and contribute alongside uh, Johnny Basto, or otherwise, was it just to go and uh, try to hit your shots and play your game? No, so when I went to bat, it was like Johnny was any which way, any which way set he was batting at 90 or runs. So my job was to just play my game freely because I knew that Johnny is well settled and obviously he'll take the ballers up. I have to just make sure that I match the run rate. I don't have to be too smart and like over smart and do anything uh, fill me there. It's just that I have to match the run rate. The run rate was twelve thirteen. The wicket was really good. So obviously Sunil Narayan had only two overs to bowl. So we knew that me and Johnny knew that okay, two overs we have to play him very cautiously and then again we can take on the other bowlers. So we were planning that what bowlers can uh, like what bowlers we can target, what areas we can target, how's the pitch reacting. and just uh, giving uh, each other good understanding that okay some bowlers you take some bowlers i'll take this over you take the charge that over i'll take the charge so all those conversations about that only and obviously when you have someone like johnny bestro at the non striker has played 100 test matches you don't need to think much he'll only think and he'll only tell and you have to just follow that so that is what that was the thing johnny was telling me like one over i got what uh, three four runs only i got to sunil narayan he came and told me you played him really well next over you are hitting big success i know 
he told me and obviously like oh, he gave me the confidence and obviously by god's grace thing went well one was over covers one was the lap shot so obviously that was a good thing that like, we were uh, understanding each other's game well and we believed each other so that was the important part i guess johnny basto has a golden words and it has worked out for you so coming to this question of uh, how is your experience as far as pbk's dressing room environment is concerned very positive like everyone is very positive very welcoming and uh, the team obviously uh, didn't do Uh, didn't justify the talent as of now but the talent in the room is immense trust me we have a team which is of a different talent altogether though we haven't proved yet but still the season is still long still few more matches to go and i feel that we can turn around the table but one good thing was when we were not doing well also that atmosphere was very positive we believed in each other's ability and we knew that we are what we are capable of and it's just that a matter of game So obviously, I think the KKR game really helped us as a team because everyone did contribute. And now, again, four, five more important games left, and I, I surely believe, and I'm hundred percent sure that we'll do good, we'll do great. There's so much of hype about you when you started the season, especially after playing the first match. Especially the one you played like a huge knock, sixty-one runs against GT. There was so much of hype in media, like uh, stating that you were. misrepresented or there was some wrong identification which was done during the mini auction then when you went and when you played in uh, ahmedabad against gt and also against kkr in eden gardens you were trying to express your feelings that you were belonging to this team and you were a part of this and uh, you know that was a cheer which which, which was uh, a cheer of expression which you showed to the public so what do you say about that no it was never to show anyone to be very honest you won't believe uh, whatever happened in the auction a technical glitch or whatever you say other day next day morning the auction happened at what 7:30 on 23rd if i'm not wrong on 19th or 19th it happened at 7:30 indian time 6 o'clock next day after 9 hours i got a, i get a call from sanjay bangar sir stating that shashank see who were the only one we were looking for the other guy was not in our list you were the one who were on the list and even i know somewhere that because you see punjab kings Uh, history 15 years of history they are the ones who take the domestic talent get in the team and make sure that they get in the 11 as well so they are someone who picks the team from through the domestic talent so i was very very sure that punjab kings will go for me and obviously our coach from chatisgarh mr hitesh goswami he is the scout for punjab so he uh, spoke highly about me during the auction with the owners with the franchisee people so he also told me before also that they might go for you because sharukh is not there any like sharukh khan was not there with them anymore so they need a middle order batsman so i was pretty sure about that thing as well but f- for us like between management and me it was always a joke around because obviously we never thought i know there was a thing in social media which was going on i was not on social media at that time to be honest my sister told me but uh, we take it very in a very friendly banter way because it was never a thing between us i know this management yeah. and they know me as a player so it was all cool like i mess i tweeted also it's all cool between us because it was not even for a millisecond there was a harsh moment it was very much that i knew that they are going to pick me they know that okay he is the player only so it was very cool between us start the question with your family background since you know It's quite exciting to hear that your father is uh, from IPS background. And uh, could you please uh, talk about your father and your family uh, to start with? Yeah, so my dad he's an IPS officer, and uh, you won't believe that like, his per- first posting was in Tamil Nadu. So it's been what uh, 89 and 90, I guess. His f- first posting was there only. So that is something I have a connection with Tamil Nadu that way. And yes, like obviously he is very supportive towards my cricket. Like obviously initially it was his dream that I should play for the country or at the highest level. it was never my dream but then obviously the like gradually it became my dream as well and i'm very lucky to be honest that my family my mom dad and my sister they are very supportive about my game because i've seen people in india the family is not that supportive but in that sense i'm very supportive so i'm very lucky that's great to hear and uh, so you know since your father has been posted in jabalpur first i believe that you might have very good connect with madhya pradesh i heard that you have started your junior cricket which is age group cricket in madhya pradesh could you please uh, talk about it yeah so it was uh, like when dad was posted in jabalpur before that he was posted in sivni chinwara so there were small districts in mp in madhya pradesh so uh, there i started cricket playing cricket with him like obviously in every backyard how father feeds the ball to the son and he smashes the ball that is how it started and uh, when we went to jabalpur also so i 
uh, was like 13, 14. So that time, uh, for the first time, I played for my state, Madhya Pradesh, under 15, under 17. And it was good. But then again, that time back then, the cricket wasn't that competitive, to be honest. So obviously, uh, playing for under 15, under 17, Madhya Pradesh was very exciting, very good. But then obviously, when I moved to, like, when we as a family moved to Mumbai, that there was a time when literally I thought that I can take it as a profession and uh, I got a reality check that where I stand in, in this competition of cricket. So there's an interesting fact that uh, you have a coach, Mr. Vidya Paratkar, and uh, you have very good bonding with him and your junior cricket has started with him. And could you please elaborate about the bonding with him and how he has assisted you in the initial phase of your cricket? Yeah, so uh, like after under 17, like when I was I think 15 or 16, uh, dad got transferred to Mumbai. And there was a time where I got a reality check that where exactly I stand because there I met players like Surya Kumar, Sishreya Sayar, Abhishek Nair. So all these like Siddhesh Lad. So all these players were extremely talented and when I was in Madhya Pradesh, I always thought that I'm really good and uh, I'm the only like, good cricketer around. But when I went to Bombay, I saw that what talent is, what players are, what hard work is. And then I was lucky enough that I met Mr. Vidya Paradkar. Now he's no more between us. But then obviously, he was someone who coached Zaheer Khan, who coached Ajin Kirane. So my dad took me to uh, Vidya Paradkar sir through some contacts and then there he saw me and he felt that I have something in me and he really worked like immensely hours and hours on me like whatever I'm doing in today's world I'm sure wherever he's, he's he'll be very proud of me because maybe I got this late whatever I am today he has a he always had a great belief that whatever uh, like I'm doing now he had a great belief that I, I'm capable of doing that so he has spent enough hours on my technique on my cricket so all thanks to him and his family like uh, the way they have supported me in Bombay I mean, I was very lucky there also. I'm sure that you'll be having his blessings and of course, because of those blessings, today are shining well as far as the Indian domestic cricket and IPL are concerned. So going back to Mumbai, since you started your serious cricket in Mumbai, we all heard about Kanga League. Kanga League is pretty much famous in Mumbai and since Mumbai is mecca of cricket, there's so much of competition to even get into the Kanga League. So what is your experience as far as Kanga League is concerned? Yeah, so Kanga League is one of the most difficult leagues because Indian club circuits say. Because that happens during monsoon, the wickets aren't that good, the, 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 the bowlers are always on you, the outfield, the grass, is, the grass is very high, so obviously it's difficult to score runs there. But then uh, my first experience was I played for Parshizim Khanna, again all thanks to Vidya Pratka sir and the secretary of Parshizim Khanna, Mr. Parvez Cooper. Because they really helped me out, that was my first year, I don't remember which year exactly. 2012 or 11, I don't know exactly. But then uh, th that was a time where uh, I got to a club which really supported me, believed in me because it's very difficult for any youngster to go to Mumbai and straight away play a A or B division in Kanga League. But obviously, Vidya Paratkar sir always believed in me. He thought that I am capable to play at that level. And he pushed me to play for Parshizim Khanna. And uh, my first year went really well, to be honest, all by God's grace. That I Initially, initial 3-4 matches didn't go well because obviously I wasn't used to the uh, conditions there but then later on when the Kanga League was getting over like four five last four five matches I scored four five consecutive cent uh, half centuries and then that day only I was there in the under 19 Mumbai side so that Kanga League last phase of Kanga League really helped me so again it was the coach who really backed me because obviously for a player it's very important to have a good coach who will help him with the technique as well as pushing to good clubs good company so I was very lucky that I had a mentor coach like Vidya Paratkar sir who really backed me up. So we all know that the cricket has three formats like T20, uh, List A and as well as uh, first class cricket. You kicked off your T20 cricket in 2015. Yeah. Vijay Hazari, right? First. Right, right, right. Okay. So you have, uh, there are three formats as far as in cricket is concerned and uh, to start with like uh, List A, T20 format and first class cricket. Right. And uh, you made debut for Mumbai as far as uh, right. your list A cricket is concerned right. in Vijay Hazare Trophy. Right. And you have played with players like uh, Abhishek Nair, uh, Surya Kumar Yadav, Shardul Takur, Shreya Sayar and Dawal Kulkarni. So how was that experience? You can add two other names, Rohit Sharma and Ajinkya Rane because they were the ones who gave me my first cap, the Mumbai cap. So yeah, I was very lucky to share my dressing room with those legends like Rohit Bhai, Aju Bhai, they were someone who always liked to welcome youngsters like uh, never in my career like whatever span I spent in Mumbai I never felt that I, I'm an outsider or maybe I'm too young to be in the team they always made me so comfortable like I still remember one of the uh, games for Bombay where Rohit Bhai and I opened and I hit a 6 over mid-off and he was literally doing like this like just to uh, 
uh, praise me and just to like build the confidence in me. So all those things are very small, but it matters a lot. So obviously I was very lucky and uh, again that way also I have a friend circle like Surya Kumar, Shardul Thakur. So they are all are very good friends, Shivam Dubey and Italy because we played for Bombay together. So the competition was always there. It wasn't that the competition wasn't there, but it was always a very healthy competition. Like obviously we, each, each other, if like uh, they wanted me to get success, I wanted them to get success. So it was never the jealousy wala feeling. It was always that we wanted each other to get the success. So that was the best part in Mumbai. That is why Mumbai is such a strong team in domestic circuit as well. You see this year also they won because every cricketer wants every cricketer to grow there. So that was one good thing. And again, like uh, playing Liste and Mushtaq Ali was very special because there you learnt a lot of things, a lot of tricks in domestic cricket also. So uh, I've, I've sat many matches outside also. I couldn't get in the 11 because the competition was really immense. You have players like Rohit Sharma, Ajin Kirane, Suri, Ashreyas. The middle order was uh, Shivam Dobe, Sarfaraz lately. So, so I, like not even for a second I felt that why are they playing, why am I not playing. Obviously there were things in my mind that I have to work even more harder, I have to work on special things. But then I always knew that I am also capable enough to play there. It's just about sometimes it's about luck and the team combination as well. So there I think I couldn't fit in the red ball circuit. White ball circuit I was obviously um, most of the years, like whatever time I played for Bombay, every year I played in the white ball circuit like the Mushtaq Ali and the Vijayazare. It's just the red ball I couldn't make it. But no regrets because I'm very happy for my friends who are doing really well in their life and uh, I'm surely, I surely know that even they feel the same for me. Lovely. So talking about T20 cricket, uh, you were earlier called as unorthodox player or unconventional player and uh, also you were compared with Suri Kumar Yadav as far as playing the unorthodox shots, you know, playing 360 degrees and all those stuff. So did you face any difficulty because Mumbai is known for even the um, orthodox way of playing defence and driving the ball, when the spinners bowl, they ask you to drive the ball, bend down. So, did you face in your era like uh, a challenge as such, like you know, you have to play in the first class cricket, so you need to play down the ground, drive the ball, or was it okay for you, like, okay, did coaches encourage you, you can go with your unconventional shots? Like, obviously, I always believed in myself, like, obviously, uh, when you play a team sports, it's more about how you're performing and how you're contributing to the team rather than uh, what way you're doing it. It's about the contribution rather than how are you contributing. So for me it was, everyone has their own technique in cricket. Like you see A.B. De Villiers, you see say uh, Virat Kohli. They both are legends of the game. But A.B. De Villiers has his own technique, Virat Kohli has his own technique. They both are legends. So I always believed in myself that whatever way I, I score runs, I have to score runs for the team. Whatever the team demands me, I have to do that rather than just thinking that I have to play like someone. So uh, with Surya also, I had good discussions before also like, we played 19 together and 1923s together. So obviously, whenever like obviously he debuted way, way, way earlier than me in the red ball circuit. So I kept on asking him like, what is the difference between the red ball, uh, like what we play the company cricket time shields in Bombay, and uh, what is the difference between the Ranji Trophy and time shields. So he t kept on telling me it's there's no difference. It's just about the mental setup. It's just about the intent there. It's just about how you handle the pressure at that time. So it was never about the technique or the way you play. It's just about the way you handle the pressure. And I realized it late to be honest in my life, but I'm glad that I realized that it's more about the mental thing rather than the skill and the physical setup. So good that I realized it. Nice. So that, you know, I'm happy that uh, you're playing the way the way you're playing. And today we are grateful to see like the way you're playing, which is your natural game, smacking the ball all, all over the park. All right. So coming back to the debut of your match of list day cricket. So you played against Punjab. You scored 39 runs there. And uh, you played with uh, greats like Yuvraj Singh, Mandeep Singh, Barinder Sran, yeah. and also Siddharth Kohl. Yeah. So how was that experience? Because when we talk about Yuvraj Singh, a lot of youngsters are passionate to play with him and also to play against him. So how was your feel playing against the strong Punjab side? Yeah, it was very good. Like I remember the match was in Hyderabad and uh, Chandu sir was the coach. So uh, obviously uh, Abhishek Nair was there, Ajinkya Rahane was there. And we also had a very good team. Surya was there, Shreyas was there. So we, we really had a good team. So uh, I batted in the middle order. And when you are there in the dressing room, na, uh, the, the people in the dressing room believe in you, like they believe on your uh, skill set and your mental setup so much that you are always pumped up to go there and do like perform for the state. So when I first went there, that was my first innings. We were, I think we needed around 80 odd runs, 90 odd runs in like what, 20, 18 or 20 overs. And I was batting with, I don't know, Surya, I don't know with whom I was batting that time. So when I entered the wicket, I saw UV Paji on the, uh, like he was fielding at the point and he was not sledging, sledging me, but then I was like, I've always seen him on the TV. So first time I'm uh, playing against him. 
but then again i tried to keep my cool and i tried to focus on the ball and do my process what i was doing to get in the team like whatever i did in the company and club cricket back in bombay i tried to follow the same process because it's all about the process how you uh, what what you have followed you should you don't you shouldn't have to try anything new just because you are playing at a good level you don't need to try anything new so that that feeling was good like after the match obviously i went to the punjab dressing room i have had a word with uvipa that uh, like w- what you felt about my game and what i can uh, improve because obviously as a youngster you always try to improve on things so that was a good experience for me because uh, playing against yuvraj singh was something because he is still a legend he was a legend that time as well and uh, sharing his thoughts on cricket and uh, getting to know that how he feels about you those are the good things so it the experience was obviously very good and the best part was that we won that game so that was a good uh, debut for me and today you're playing for punjab kings you know i can relate with that yeah. all right so uh, coming to the point like uh, you played for mumbai and you moved on to next place so was there any specific reason for you to move from mumbai to play uh, in elsewhere i'll come so, to the point where elsewhere yeah. but before that was there yeah. any specific reason so i played what 6 years for bombay and then 6 years i was extremely happy because obviously you get in the white ball circuit people like the mumbai a uh, domestic circuit is really huge the media the fans they are they really like you as a player but end of the day you have to decide that where are you standing exactly in 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 in, in such a big competition so i always felt that white ball i am playing but i always wanted to test my skills on the red ball circuit as well the white ball circuit i was playing few games i was not playing few games so i wasn't sure about my position but red ball i wasn't there in the team and just because the competition was immense and everyone every single person was doing really well you take any name you see the performance chart everyone was doing good there was no question that there, there was a player who wasn't doing good and still in the team everyone was doing good really really well so i thought that why not to change my state and play for a state where i get more opportunities and i can test my skill because obviously you see a cricketer's career is very small it's a span of 15 20 years maximum if you uh, if you are if you're not playing in those 15 20 years i mean i i know only 11 can play but if if still you cannot play in the 11 then you have to think where are you exactly you need to get a reality check there is no point in sitting out and just uh, giving the like sitting out in the dug out and just clapping for others there is no harm in that also but at a certain age you need to play certain games so i felt that i need to change my state and to play for a state where i can uh, be more regular in the 11 and i can get a reality check of my skills in the red ball circuit as well so that is why i i planned i had a discussion with my mom dad my coaches my mentor mr abhi kurvela he is the general manager of bcci right now so he is with dy patel so i i play for dy patel so i had a big discussion with him because obviously you cannot take these big decisions yourself because obviously you don't know if you change your state how the other state will welcome you so that was the thing uh, it it took a it took some time to get to a point because i was emotionally also attached to mumbai because i've lived what 10 12 15 years in bombay and i had a great friend circle there so it was a bit difficult for me but yeah uh, i think when i uh, think about the past i think everyone every everything went well and whatever happened happened for good only yeah talking about abhay kurvela we can still remember when he was playing for india against west indies yeah he had amazing spell wow we can't forget those spells as well yes it's nice to know that he's your mentor yeah and uh, yeah so coming to the point where we left after yeah. you left from mumbai and you're yeah. gone to pondicherry yeah. which is our neighboring state you know <laughs> yeah. union territory yeah. so you played between 2018 and 19 to that season ranji trophy season uh no so uh, when i left bombay i left bombay in 2018 yeah so uh, when i left bombay i went to pondicherry with abhishek nayar so abhishek nayar was someone who who was a legend in domestic circuit and he went there and he asked me if you want to come to pondicherry with me because obviously uh, you aren't getting good chances here so why not come to pondicherry get more games test yourself test your skills and then obviously with more opportunities there are more things in future which are open for you so i thought that yeah why not so then when we went to pondicherry so there some bcci not bcci glitch glitch but then obviously we thought that uh, i am eligible to play for pondicherry but technically in the books of bcci i wasn't able because i need to had a cool have a cooling period of one year so then again i thought that if i have to serve a cooling period of one year I, and i cannot waste a year because wasting a year in cricket will be a big thing so why not to go to my home state which is chatisgarh because i was born in bhilai so why not to go to my home state chatisgarh and play for them rather than waiting for a one year and then obviously i don't know after one year how a new state will welcome me though the pondicherry management was very welcoming to me but then again end of the day you don't have that surety because obviously 
uh, with cricket you don't know how next year you will perform or you will not perform and end of the day you will be as a professional there not as a local there so i thought why not to move to my home state and play as a local rather than playing for pondicherry and be a bit confusing uh, in in nature where you're not sure whether you'll get in the 11 or not get in the 11 because that that was a new state that was the first year of that state so that is why i thought i'll move to chatisgarh and play for my home state so i believe you also played for pondicherry i didn't play for pondicherry okay i okay. didn't because the the one match we played and we got a cooling period of one year the first match we played and we got a notice from bci that it was serve one year cooling period and then you can play so the same year i moved to chatisgarh i played the local domestic games of chatisgarh because any which i was eligible for chatisgarh because i was born there so yeah that was the thing so coming to the uh, sayed mushtaq ali tournament which you played in 2015 as well yeah. in the month of april yeah. you played against odisha since you are specialized right now in ipl as far as t20 cricket is concerned and white ball game so did you realize that you could become a, a superstar what you are now during that point of time when you were playing sayed mushtaq ali tournament First, is still not. I'm a superstar. It'll take some time to be a superstar because superstar is a big statement, a big word. But of so course, I'll, for us, maybe thank you so much. I'm grateful that, uh, like, you've said that. But again, some some more time to be a superstar. Yes, so but yeah, I always believed in my ability that uh, I'm capable of playing the highest level because it's important to believe. I've always felt one thing: if you don't believe, things won't happen. So I've always believed from the day I took it as a profession that I'm I'm the best in the world, and. Uh, if i go there on play uh, on the on the ground i have to make sure that i'm contributing in such a way that my team gets on the winning side so it, the belief was always there maybe at times i felt that i could have done better in my career in my life but then again uh, you cannot be perfect no one is perfect in today's world so uh, that was the thing but yeah i always believed that i'm capable i have all the ability to play at the highest level and to perform at the highest level the belief was always there from day one maybe i got it late but i got it So yeah, I believe you're 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 so humble. That's one thing, and uh, I highly appreciate that. So going to the red ball format, Ranji Trophy. So you debuted for Chhattisgarh. Yeah. As far as your Ranji is concerned, so you played for about four years for Chhattisgarh. Yeah, this is my as, fifth year. Yeah, technically. Yeah. yeah. So more than four years. Yeah. So how is your feel as far as playing red ball cricket is concerned, which is completely different format? Since you already told us and shared with us, stating that you want to play more of a red ball cricket. and uh, which is of course a pathway to the test cricket as well so how do you feel like uh, do you have your ambition also to play as far as for india uh, in test so and also do you feel that red ball cricket is also suitable to your way of playing cricket yeah like obviously when you start playing cricket you want to play all three formats for the country like i have always felt that i can play all three formats for the country yes red ball cricket is tough it's the toughest format of the game and why not to test yourself in the toughest format of the game rather than just playing white ball cricket no doubt white ball cricket is doing immensely well in world cricket but then obviously uh, if you ask me i would want to play all the three formats of the game and red ball i think i still need to work on my red ball cricket because i mean i can still be a better player and uh, for that i'm still working on it but yes i mean all three i am someone who, who feels that i am a three format player i can contribute to, to the team in all the three formats and that is why i changed my state so that was the only thing where why i changed my state because i wasn't getting in the red ball circuit and now i'm lucky that i'm playing my chatisgarh and getting my chance in the red ball circuit it's just that i have to improve myself even more in the red ball and gradually slowly i'm doing it but i'm sure that i'll do it there was a small gap of uh, time frame where you debuted already in uh, vijay hazare and you played first class cricket after a few years so how was the feel uh, to make a debut against odisha again it was very emotional because obviously that was my first year with chatisgarh and uh, we had a good white ball season that year for chatisgarh like mushtaq ali and vijayzare vijayzare we reached the semis that year that was the first time we reached the semis we lost to karnataka in the semi final but yeah uh, the ranji trophy debut was very memorable I, uh, like we lost the match though but then again playing red ball like winning and losing is just a part of the sports you have to accept those losses also at times but then again felt good that finally i'm a first class player because yeah, getting the tag of first class player in, in domestic cricket is is a big thing and it is still a big thing and yeah i was lucky that i played uh, that game and i'm still playing for chatisgarh in the red ball circuit as well there's an interesting fact that you you played a key role as far as chatisgarh winning the first match against mumbai <laughs> yeah so how is that feel mumbai where you have a lot of emotions and bonding and you played for chatisgarh it was a maiden victory for chatisgarh against mumbai how was that 
it was good i scored 39 40 odd runs i don't know amandeep khare or captain like the current captain he scored around 100 140 30 runs i don't know what but it was a good feeling like you have players like surya kumar shreyas they are they are like not on your uh, dressing room they are on the uh, other dressing room and uh, the friendly banter is going on some fledging going on between each other so that was a good thing but the time we won obviously very emotional that winning against bombay is something which every domestic cricketer wants because they they are the best there is no question that they are not the best they are still the best they were the best i don't know about the future but as of now they are the best and beating the best is what you play cricket for so that was a very good feeling like winning against bombay the dressing room was really happy and personally i was very happy because i contributed maybe in a smaller way but i did contributed and that i was very happy like yeah very happy so you have one more uh, record where in list a format as far as vijay hazare trophy was concerned you scored more than 150 runs and five wickets hauled so you became first indian so how is that feel felt good like obviously i always believed in my bowling ability as well i worked a lot in my, in my bowling ability and then uh, getting wickets makes you happy like getting runs the way getting runs makes me happy getting wickets for the team makes me happy as well so was very happy that i could contribute with both bat and ball and obviously the record uh, came related to me my sister she called me up and like she is someone who keeps on scrolling on internet at what shashank singh is doing what he did what he didn't do so the other day she told me like after the match only she called me and said ki you made a record you are the first indian to do this and you are the third in the world or something like that so i was like i didn't know about this and no one in the team even knows about it so he, she was more excited than me over this thing any which way she is more excited about my performances but uh, yeah uh, that was something good i felt good but then obviously as a cricketer you need to move forward ahead then again like vijayare we have a gap of one day only so next day we had a rest day and then again we have a, we had a match so obviously couldn't enjoy that success much but then yeah obviously felt good that yeah i have a record in uh, the domestic circuit so have you heard about a movie called jersey a storyline which is almost similar to your life story chennai people they are relating your uh, story the way you came up and also your cricket journey there's so much of trend which is happening in chennai so what do you say about it i've not seen the movie to be honest but yeah i know the story the storyline behind the movie and yeah like it was a good movie like people have had told me good things about the movie but i think everyone has their own journey that was a journey on, in the movie i have a different journey altogether but if someone is comparing with, with me with that journey then yeah like good that if they are comparing they if they think that way then it might be that way but some way i know that i have a different journey altogether but very uh, grateful that people are recognizing me they are giving me so much love because that means a hell lot to me i'm very thankful to you for sparing your precious time humongous information about your cricket journey which i'm really uh, happy to interview you with and uh, thank you so much and i'm really uh, happy that uh, and also i'm wishing you all the best for tomorrow thank you so much it's my pleasure and I had a really good time talking with you so thank you so much oh la vacation to thailand starts from 19999 only gt holidays